now we will see the uh, probe attenuation factor now if you see in the probe now here uh, you can see that there are two uh, factors one is given 1x another one is 10x now i have put in 1x so let me uh, get a square wave so now i am getting a square wave here the peak to peak voltage of this square wave is 2.98 volt now if i change the probe attenuation factors to 10x what happens is see now uh, there is a square wave of 2.98 volt connected to this uh, probe and it is transferred directly with the same peak to peak voltage to the channel 1 now let me say i am changing the attenuation factor here and i am making it 10x now see what happens the waveform is reduced now now the waveform is uh, reduced that means the 2.98 volt or approximately 3 volt which is actually coming from this point is reduced by 10 times that is 3 by 10 that is 0 0.3 volt 0 0.3 volt is applied to the channel 1 that is why if you see the peak to peak voltage it is showing as 0 0.3 3 volts or 340 millivolt now to get the correct value of the peak to peak voltage what you have to do is you have to multiply this peak to voltage by the attenuation factor 10 that means now uh, 0.34 volts multiplied by 10 will give you 3 volt which is what the pre before uh, value that is uh, peak to peak voltage was 2.98 volt or approximately 3 volt now uh, if you don't want to bother about all this multiplication factor what you can do is now the probe here is 10x so in the channel 1 you can adjust the probe to 10x now it is 1x probe 1x now let us adjust it 1x 5x 10x now if i keep it in 10x you can see that the signal will increase just a second uh, means uh, see now it is giving uh, the peak to peak voltage as 3.4 volt directly okay got it so 3.4 volt so if the probe attenuation factor you have chosen as 10x adjust the dso uh, probe channel 1 if it is connected to channel 1 adjust it to 10x then you don't have to bother about the multiplication factor while taking the measurements hope this is clear